Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and I hope you all had a great holiday um, and I hope your 2024 setups went super well and I am about to set up my January pages but before I did that I wanted to make a quarterly planning page. I just think it was really hard for me to achieve my big goals in 2023 because I wasn't checking in frequently enough and going from yearly goals to monthly setups is a big time jump. So I wanted to try something a little different and make a quarterly planning page, which is just three months, which seems a lot more achievable and a good check-in period as well. So I have two boxes at the top where I can have a check-in for my first and second main goals. I also have a box for an additional short-term project that I want to do within the three months that I have either been A, putting off, or B, just started and then forgot about. So I have a box for that and then steps to take in order to finish this mini goal. Then on the right, I have a spot for a reflection. So what worked and what didn't work during the quarter. And I am new to quarterly planning, so I don't know for sure how this is going to work, which is why I didn't fill out the spread for all of the quarters at once. I want to take some time at the end of March to see what about this spread worked and what didn't so I can improve my quarter two check-in. So after that, we are going to move into the January setup and guys, I do have to admit that I did cheat a little bit. So this book cover design isn't for a real book and I designed it a while ago to add to my graphic design portfolio, but December has just been so busy that I wasn't able to finish the book cover that I wanted to do and I didn't want to rush the process because I'm actually really excited about how this is going to go. But the concept for this book cover is actually inspired by my D&D campaign, which I am running. Um, it's set in a world without a sun, where these monsters called nightmares are scared of light. So basically, it's the job of the priestesses, who are called light keepers, to keep the lights on and the cities safe. Um, I thought it was a really cool concept, and it definitely makes for some really intense D&D sessions when we actually have them. So I am incorporating a lot of black paper this month because of this theme, and I am doing the design for all the paper I'm going to be gluing in first so that the acrylograph has a chance to dry. I also used a hole puncher to make these little inset corners, which I thought was just a really unique and simple design element that would elevate this a little bit. Uh, the font I found online, and I just kind of penciled this in lightly before I actually went in with the acrylograph. If anyone knows of a white pen that actually makes a solid white line on black paper and over Crayola markers, please let me know in the comments because the acrylograph isn't quite as opaque as I was hoping for and I can't get the jelly rolls or the uniball signos to work after a while and it always kind of leaves this weird mark in the middle of the line because of the ballpoint pen and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong but if you guys have any suggestions definitely leave those down in the comments. I printed this book cover on cardstock to act as a flip out page essentially because the one thing about Vivid Scribble journals that I don't like is that I'm always five or six pages short. I just need like 10 more pages in these journals. So I'm hoping that by adding pages in for the cover of every month that I will be able to make it in this journal without having to add in an entire month worth of spreads at the end. On the back of this page, I have a chart for my mood tracker, and you can see me messing up here by trying to mark the days incorrectly. So I just get another scrap piece of paper and redraw the lines to cover my mistake. I'm filling in the days that I'm off in black, and since I work four days out of seven at my main job, this means that my quote unquote weekends are in sets of three. I also let this affect the way I'm setting up my weeklies, but I'll explain a little bit more about that in a bit. So I've fixed the mistake and I'm coloring into my weekend blocks 
and again I'm trying to get this acrylograph to show up here and I don't know why but when I try and put the acrylograph over my Crayola markers it just kind of sinks into the color beneath it when it's drying it does this even if I let the Crayola marker dry for a week or so so I'm not quite sure what the deal is and how to prevent this or if there is something that can just go over the Crayola without issue again if you know the secret let me know in the comments because I desperately want to figure out what it is then I'm going to move on to my expenses tracker um, I'm really letting my spending get a little out of control this month I think it might have just been because I was trying to get presents for everyone and it is Christmas time but I am going to break down my expenses a little bit more uh, just so I can see everything a bit better so I have a section on top for my income a section in the middle for my monthly bills and then a section on the bottom for my miscellaneous expenses which would include you know, going out to dinner, seeing a movie, that kind of stuff. Um, so basically money I get to spend on myself. And hopefully this will help me a little bit to know how I'm spending my money and be a little bit more conscious of it. Uh, especially since, you know, ordering things online can get a little out of hand. And I will admit that the white acrylograph does go over the black paper pretty well. But... I still had some trouble with the opaqueness. I had to go over it a couple times to really get it to that bright white that I was hoping for. And I was a little disappointed in that considering the brand that it comes from and how expensive they were. So that is something to keep in mind if you're looking at acrylographs. And I'm using the same inset quarter design on the boxes for this page in particular, just to carry that over. And then I'm going to move on to my weeklies. On my weeklies, I am setting them up a little bit differently. And it's really bizarre and kind of strange because I'm actually starting on a Tuesday. Because I work from Tuesday through to Friday. So I'm putting in all of those days together on the left hand side of the page. And then my quote unquote weekend or days off is on the right hand side of the page. I don't know if I'm going to like this weekly setup. It is definitely a little trippy and something to get used to. I might try it for a couple of months to see just because on my old setups when I was going Monday through to Sunday, I was getting really irritated because um, some of the weekly goals I would set for myself that I, you know, personal goals that weren't related to work, I would work on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I wasn't able to quote unquote achieve those goals or the main focuses uh, be on the week that they were supposed to be because they would carry over into the next week on my journal. So again, this is really weird. I don't know if I'll like it or not, but I will give it a try for a couple months to see if it's something I just need to get used to. Um, but to help me really get used to this and keep in mind exactly where everything is in the month. I am using a mini calendar stamp to put a stamp of the January calendar on the top of each page and highlighting exactly which days are on it so I can try and keep everything a little bit more straight. I also have my main focus box here again with that black paper and then a section on the right hand page to plan my meals and I'm also putting my habit trackers on the weeklies to see how that goes and if I can keep track of it a little bit better. I also made some of these lantern doodles on each page as a design element to try and tie in the theme a little bit better and in my D&D campaign a lot of these light sources are actually made with magic crystals instead of like a light bulb or a candle so it is a magic crystal keeping these lanterns lit. And I did change up my spreads for this month if you've been following the channel. Um, I did get rid of the calendar page. Uh, I just found that I wasn't really using it and I wasn't flipping back to it at all. 
and I have a big desk calendar at work that I mostly use to keep track of these dates and I also use my phone because I can set up reminders for myself so I just got rid of the big calendar spread completely um, if I really need to make note of something I'd normally put it on the day on my weeklies um, just because I'm way more likely to look at that so it was kind of a useless page that I wanted to get rid of. And then here's the flip through. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and if you have a white pen that can actually show up over Crayola marker, drop that in the comments as well because I am in dire need because there's so much of my, my uh, planning this month that requires me to go uh, with white over black marker, which I did not think about when I was setting it up. But <laughs> yeah, now I'm in that situation. Anyways, I hope your year starts off right and I will see you guys next time. Stay creative.